We will test now the edge detection of camera 1 of the TVM802 and for this purpose I am using two chips in QFN case. This one and then also a smaller one. I have a test program and we'll start it now. Fiducial detection And I do everything in single step mode. So we can see clearly what happens. So let's have a look to the screen. The edge detection is not bad looks quite well, so this should be a pretty good place job. Adjustment takes a time. So now we continue with the smaller chip. And again, let's have a look to the screen. What we can see here is that the top edge is detected as the edge of the case, not, not the pins and not, not this pad here, it's the edge of the case. But on the, top, on the bottom side, it's not the edge of the case, instead it's the edge of the ground pad here. So this gives, gives a few tens of millimeters error in detection. And whatever I uh, set as the camera threshold, it does not ch change that. So let's have a look to it under the microscope. And as you can see, it's totally unusable. It needs manual correction. The only thing I can do is to select a very high camera threshold of uh, 80 and now we can see that also the top side detects the edge of the ground pad here but that's very dangerous because it does not work with other integrated circuits it's, it just works with this one so next thing I will try to make some modifications on the nozzle. Let's take a look to the nozzle. This is the nozzle I'm using. And now I will place a piece of black paper to this nozzle. I have prepared it here. It looks like that. And this will, this will shield the camera from seeing the nozzle and the mechanics and all these things. Let's try with this one. So the best compromise I found is to set the component threshold to 50 and additionally place this piece of black paper, the bottom side is black of course, on the nozzle. So let's try to do our job with uh, these settings. So let's have a look at the part under the microscope. This one looks very well. And this side is not perfect, but this will be corrected by the solder paste. The white, the white thing here is my adhesive tape, which I use for testing. And now the smaller case. 
this is really perfect here. So I have tried two things. One is to play around with a threshold, which now is at 50, and also the black paper on the top of the nozzle. But uh, to be honest, it works sometimes, it does not work every time. If I place 10 boards, then it helps me with maybe let's say six, seven boards, but with three boards I still need manual correction.